Louis Andreessen comes from a long line of Dutch composers and a very um, rich musical family within Dutch heritage. The great thing about Louis' music is that there is a, an absolutely visceral, physical quality about it. And this is sometimes, to many people, overwhelming. It can almost be too much. At the same time, one of the things that I think really distinguishes Louis' music from a lot of very strong, visceral music is that he has the complete technical grounding to write what we would think of as pure pedigree music. But that's not what he's interested in. He's actually interested, like many composers, in all of the sounds that he can find around him, whether these sounds are um, quaint or whether they're kind of dirty and grungy, whether they're almost industrial or whether they're pastoral. And he is able, like an extraordinary playwright, to put all of these characters into a piece of music and have it come out as a unified work of art. And that's something which is really unique in his talent. There are not a lot of other people who can get this incredible depth. I think Louis Andreessen's music never leaves anybody kind of in the middle. Um, that's the kind of personality Louis has. That's actually how he wants people to react to the music. And I think he's largely successful. I don't think he kind of leaves anybody going, eh, I don't know. You either really enjoy it or it's something that doesn't appeal to you. It's very much, I think, like a jalapeno or a habanero pepper. If you really like that sort of thing, man, you just can't get enough of it. And if it's too strong for you and you're, you, know, you feel that you need to actually go to the emergency room right after you've eaten one, then you're probably better off with somebody else's music.